Captain, we have unwanted visitors. A horde of robotic penguins. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh, whoa, whoa, what happened to her? Hang on, what happened here? What the hell happened to you? <laughs> uh, <laughs> April? <laughs> You've gone insane. April returned from the nearby robot village. April's state is a little fragile. <laughs> yep. <laughs> April got a few lungfuls of some thick smoke coming from the heavy machinery. April found some small dusty rockets and even a few gems behind the robotic houses. Okay, so she found things. That's good. April has returned berry soup. She's actually got us loads of soup. I think at this point, I have no resources to make any anything else now. So we're kind of screwed at this point. These two, I think, are going to die. <laughs> Captain, our systems are working below the optimal level. I was able to determine that our wiring might be at fault. You'll have to figure out how to fix this by yourself. I trust your instincts, but not that I have a choice. I'm a genius. I can work this out. <laughs> okay, well, April's gone completely mad. <laughs> Megan is now starving and is weak, so that's good. I'm actually doing not too badly. I'm going to give these two soup. And pray that everything goes well. <laughs> Day 18. Well, I'm still alive. Everyone's still alive, I believe. Yep. And you don't look any more <laughs> insane than you already are. Nicely done, Captain. You proved yourself smart enough to fix the malfunctioning components. This ship is really falling apart, I'm afraid. There was not enough time to properly finish it. Who could have expected an atomic apocalypse to break out so suddenly? Well, I could. But no one listens to me. <laughs> no one will ever listen to computerized assistance. April remains insane. Yep, I already know that. April remains weak. April is still loyal. Well, that's the main thing, right? She's loyal. <laughs> captain, I protest. Your self-appointment as the captain of this vessel does not grant you the right to injure your crew's heads. This also includes accidental flying soup can related injuries. If you have anything to treat the wounds with, I strongly suggest you use it. I haven't- I've only got duct tape. <laughs> Let's use the duct tape. I'm so screwed. <laughs> I'm so screwed. How did I last 30 days last time? I have no idea. There are approximately 1,337 possible applications for duct tape. Tending to wounds is of course one of them, <laughs> even if it is only a makeshift dressing. Okay, well that worked somehow. I seem to have healed. <laughs> I've healed April, that's the main thing. Alright, well we still can't craft anything, so that's good. <laughs> Captain, there's a huge construct of some kind approaching this shuttle. It's neither animal nor robot. It's made out of moving crystal lattices, like a giant walking crystal saurus. Here we go again. This time... I have something to defend myself with, so we might as well use the gun. Let's see if that will draw it away. This is where we die, isn't it? <laughs> yep, we got one dead. <laughs> you fired a warning shot at the Crystal Saurus' feet. It was a grazing hit, but it worked. The Crystal Saurus roared and galloped away. The shot blew off enough stuff from the Crystal Saurus' foot for us to harvest for resources. Yay, minerals! <laughs> Captain, I detect an SOS signal coming from somewhere on the planet's surface. I will do the necessary calculations to pinpoint the exact locations for your convenience. Megan's now dead. Megan died, I presume, of... Uh, hunger, right? <laughs> okay, Megan actually died from her injuries, so it wasn't actually hunger, so I can't be to blame. <laughs> to be fair, we're not actually too bad. I know April's insane, <laughs> and I know these two are dead, but in a way, we have two kinds of soup and two people left, so I'm gonna give these two soup, because these are the only two left. And go! Day 21. Oh, she looks even more insane now. Great. <laughs> Captain, we have unwanted visitors. A horde of robotic penguins. <laughs> what? <laughs> Robotic penguins have the shuttle completely surrounded. They're lawn penguins, Captain. The kind of cheap, decorative, and wealthy robot would put in his front garden. Their computers have all been hijacked by the murderous virus. How will you deal with them? I <laughs> well, I don't have the gun, so I might as well use the artifacts. <laughs> That's the only thing I can do. Just show them the artifact and then be done with it, okay? This is where it ends. I'm about to be killed by murderous penguins. <laughs> Before that happens, though, Let's see if I can save myself. Okay, so we need minerals, so I think the bomb craters will be the best place to go. So let's go there. I'm gonna send you. Off you go, April. Right, I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> All right, well, let's hope these penguins don't kill me. I'm sure this is where it ends. I'm not dead. Wow, I'm not dead. What the hell happened? You held the artifact over your head and confidently walked out into the crowd of robotic lawn penguins that surrounded the shuttle. The sacred flippery command <laughs> you leave these premises. Eventually, the tiny robotic decorations all lowered their knives and waddled away backwards, still starving. So many questions. 
You didn't sleep at all after that. I have pinpointed the location of the SOS signal we received yesterday. It seems to be coming from the old assembled line. Oh, and I've just sent April out. <laughs> God damn it. We have a visitor, Captain. A sentient robot introducing himself as Charles D12 is welcoming us to the planet of his people and is asking us for aid. Sure, I can help him. <laughs> Remember, duct tape has a thousand three hundred and thirty-seven uses. Okay, so duct tape should be able to fix a robot. All right, well, I'm not hungry right now, so things are looking good. I can't craft anything, so that's not good. <laughs> I still have the artifact. That saved me from a robotic penguin, so now I have a use for this thing. Day 23. <laughs> I hope these robots are friendly, actually. I didn't think about that. <laughs> he fixed the wandering robot's arm using some tape. Charlie, he said I can call him Charlie, was probably impressed and offered to repay the favor. As he was leaving, he promised to throw in a good word for us to his compatriots. Suddenly things are looking good, despite this. Okay, <laughs> despite that, everything's looking good. An alien vessel is approaching. Their ship is rigged with a light show synced to the music they started blasting as soon as we open comms. Captain, they're playing rockabilly. <laughs> the aliens claim to be of the Dance Lord tribe and are searching for the best dancers in the galaxy. They've challenged our tribe to a dance off. It's not much of a tribe because <laughs> two people are dead and there's one person on an expedition and there's only one of me. They challenged our tribe to a dance off, specifically a sock off. If you don't accept, they will vaporize us with the ultra high frequency speakers. How will you defeat the Dance Lords? Uh, with. Flexibility. Right, day 24. Here we go. You accepted the Dance Lord's challenge. They beamed you to their ship and you lit up the Dance Lord as soon as you stepped on the board. You stopped up straight to their leader, Warbob, but he was no match for your wicked footwork and incessant snapping. Captain, I think you've been practicing your moves in the mirror. <laughs> There's a robotic city passing outside. Yes, Star Starlight City is mobile. Their technology is far more advanced than other robot communities we've seen on this world. Maybe they could help you. If you're fast, you might be able to catch up to them. Do you want to chase the Star City? Well, remember, I helped one of them and they said they'll spread the good word. So maybe this might be a good thing. Let's try it and let's give him food to save him from starving. And April should be returning. So, day 25. Oh, April's not returned yet, so that's not good. <laughs> the floating robot city slowed down and let you catch up to it. The robots gave you oxygen and insisted on giving you free stuff. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, it works. The robots of Starlight City decided the harsh environment of their planet could pose health risks to you. So they gave you a first aid kit. Oh my god, I love them! <laughs> I love them! I've also got another soup because of the crafting. Okay, so things are looking much better now. We got a med kit and we got soup! Ah, look at this again. We got ourselves a situation where we got a food dispenser, so you know what that means. More duct tape. Remember, this is just one of the 1,337 ways that duct tape can be used. Okay. <laughs> right, we're good. So we got more duct tape going to be used. So we got more soup coming on the way. I believe April's returning next time round. I wonder if she's still alive. <laughs> April's still here. She still looks insane. <laughs> she still looks insane. Official government research shows that there is nothing in the universe that cannot fix a duct tape. Okay, we got good. We got good. We got good. Oh my god. April has done wonders. Oh my god. There's so much soup now. Oh my god. God, we're gonna live. Oh my god, we're gonna live. Oh my god. <laughs> we're gonna live. I have bad news, Captain, but keep it to yourself. I suspect we have an alien insertion situation on board. It's crewmate Angel. I have registered her speaking in an alien language. She might be possessed by a species unknown to us. Approach her with caution and try to figure out what's wrong with her. Oh god. <laughs> you can speak in a different language? I'm gonna try and work out what you're saying. Day 27. Is everything gonna be okay? Well, we care. We seem to be okay. You confronted April like a detective individual that you were and responded to her in the same language. Since it was just a good old, f it was good old French. <laughs> She was actually very happy to have someone chat up in the tongue she used back home with her dad and brothers. Okay, so all she was doing was talking- <laughs> wait, 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 wait. The ship identified it as an alien language, but it turned out to just be French. That's just offensive to French people, okay? <laughs> I'm contemplating using the medkit on you because you're weak. I don't know if that's a good thing or not. Oh, gross. I thought it was just a cliche, the cockroach- Ah, the cockroaches are here! Yes! Where are they? Yes, there they are! I know exactly what to do. Leave them alone because they're the Petersons! The Petersons have returned! And this time they're on a robot planet. So I'm gonna use the mecha on her. See if that works. If not, then we're screwed. <laughs> right, let's see how this works. We should, if like last time, we should get a gun from those cockroaches. We got a gun, I think. Yeah, we got a gun. There we go. You didn't hunt down the roaches, so we got a gun instead. Good. Just like last time. I I love the Petersons. They're great. As for you, April, I'm going to send you out. Where was the... It was the assembly line, wasn't it? Where the SOS signal came from. I'm going to let you take the suit and the gas mask as well. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Charles in danger, Captain, you're on a path. No, 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 no. We need to, no, I need the gas mask. No, no, April, I'm gonna have to cancel you for now. Okay, I'm sorry. Cancel, cancel, cancel. We're not going there. We're not going there. Okay, right, that's canceled. So now we can use the gas mask. Oh my God, 
That could have been fatal. That could have been so bad if I did that a day before. I was considering going out a day before, but I didn't. Oh my god, I'm so glad I didn't. <laughs> Let's see if we just survive the storm. Day 29. We're alive. But the gas mask is now broken, so I can't use it. That was a close one, Captain. It's a good thing you had a proper gear to get out of there and manually close our air filters. Captain, the SOS signals were received a while ago and still going strong, but I cannot predict for how long. Let's put it this way. I'm going to send April out. She cannot go more insane than what she's currently at. So I think I'm just going to send her out without the gas mask. She should be okay. I'd like to think she's okay. I don't think she'll be okay. <laughs> I don't think she'll be okay. Just take a can of soup. Okay, be safe. Yeah, be safe. Be safe out there, April. One of the robotic denizens of the planet is eager to test himself against you, Captain. He's letting you make a choice between a test of wits or physical prowess to prove his superiority. Well, I'm intelligent. Let's use intelligence once again. And we're now on day 30. So if we survive this, we're at the same stage I got to the first time I tried this.